Welcome back. Now we're going to look at extending the generated SQL classes. So these are your DAO classes. And uh, firstly, we'll go into the MySQL folder and you'll see here we've got the game MySQL DAO class. So if we open that up, this is going to be the one we extend using the extended version of this class. So here we've got the base methods and we can see in here we might use some of these and copy and paste them as a starting point so for instance we're going to have a few different variations of this query by game id so i might just copy this and i've already merged over the other class okay so now we're going to go and open up the extended class uh, here we go into the ext folder and here you'll see the class now I've already merged in the comments and so I've got the comments from my UML diagram and the DAO generate combined and from here I can then paste in the and now all I want to do here is actually change this I just want to get all the games with just one opening step so with the SQL I'm going to modify this and I'm going to select game ID player name game grid and they're the main columns but then I also want to use this controlling column which I'm going to use as count star I'm going to name it step number and this will be a calculated column where it'll reflect the number of rows returned now what I want to then do is use that number to restrict the rows that I return so I'll make this part of the select so I've got from a game and then I want to go group by instead of this I have group by game ID having step number equal to one okay so this will actually group them and essentially I'll end up with all the ones uh, with just one step now this would be great for our waiting games and it'll actually just return a list so in this case we want to return a list and the list will have all the games that have only had one row entered for it now the thing here too is you notice I've taken out the parameter the the game ID parameter because we're not really worried about that therefore we want to take out this uh, set number value we end up with that is our query for our query started games now the next part we want to go query by game ID ordered so in this case we want to actually just bring back the latest game state for a given ID again I can paste in the code for the game ID from the other class and then modify it so here I've got my parameter I game ID and I want to use that and that's going to be the number we use to set in the query so that therefore makes that work now I also then want to change the query because I want to order the game IDs in a, the descending order so that I ended up with the, uh, the last game state which is the, the most relevant latest game state being the one at the top of my list and the one that I return. So I'm going to use my move index uh, ID to order it by and I'm going to use the DSC uh, command which will actually tell it to order it descending wise. Now the other thing I want to do is I'm only interested in the one row, the, the last row uh, or the first row in this case uh, that's returned because of the way we've ordered it. Therefore I don't want a list, I want to actually just get a row. So I'll just change that. Now, the next part we want to actually get the other player's name. So we're going to pass in a game ID and the current player's name and therefore look for a row that has the same game ID but not this player's name. So again we can paste in the existing SQL and from this modify it. So we've got uh, game ID equals that but we're going to need another parameter and this is where we want to select where the player name and in this case is not equal to the name we give it. So the query is created there. We pass in here the I game ID and then in the next line we're actually setting the second parameter and because it's not a number we just use the set command and we want to then pass in I not name and 
Once we've got that, we then use the query. Uh, again, this is getting a list, but we again don't need a list. We just want the first row return. So finally, we want to complete this last one where we want to get the last player involved game state. This is to check whether they've got an open existing game or a game that's just finished that they've won or drawn or whether they've got no games at all. So here we'll go and use the query by player name. We'll copy that and then we'll paste that. And once we've got this, we then just want to change this query again. We have to order it a little bit differently, just like we did for the game ID. And we're going to use the game move index ID. And we're using the DSC command to actually order it in a descending manner. And then here we'll just check that uh, we've got the query. We need to then have this input parameter set as part of the query. And once we've got that, we then want to, again, just return one row, not a list, because we're just interested in that first result. Okay, and once we've done that, uh, we're pretty much set. And uh, we can save that. We could then just write a test handler class to actually try out each of these commands to make sure they work. But that's pretty much the first step where we've extended the SQL classes, the DAO classes, a step closer to our implementation. And that pretty much takes care of our, the model side. And now we're ready to start um, getting the controller and then using these queries uh, in the controller.